Hello, my name is Pablo Cárdenas. I am a technical artist at Lifelike and Believable Animation Design. And I'm gonna give a virtual conference in the Mozilla House. So that's why I decided to make a virtual world to host that conference. And today I'm gonna show you my workflow. So this workflow involves uh, modeling in Maya and UVC Maya. Texture in Substance Painter and import it into Mozilla Hubs uh, yes book. So let's get started. Uh, first, I would like to say that I'm not gonna go in depth in any of these softwares, like showing you how to use them. I'm just gonna go to the process of exporting it. So here we have uh, my 3D models, uh, low poly models, because they are gonna be for VR web, so they have to be low poly. And they also have to have the UV layouts. Now let's get it started exporting. So we, sh we select our geometry, export selection. And here's where I'm gonna make a new folder. Okay, I'm gonna call animation magical temple five. And Engine Magic and Deco 5. So we're going to export our FDX. Now we go into Substance Painter and hit File, New. Here we select the preset that we want as I work in a real engine. That's why I have a real engine like by default. So we go to the folder that we created. Here is the file. Hit Open. Here you select the resolution of your textures. Uh, as this is gonna be for web, I suggest you to use uh, 1K because we don't wanna lose performance uh, with texture quality. Normally you will hit OK, but as I already have my model over here, I'm gonna hit cancel. So I already textured this model and now it's gonna get into the fun part by exporting it. So we're gonna file, export textures. And here in the output template, that's where we are going to find the GLTFPVR metal roughness. This is the one that we need. Here you hit just to select where do you want all these things to export. This is going to export your textures and your model in GLB and GLTF. So hit export. That was really fast. And here is everything it exported. This is the file that we exported from Maya, or FBX. And one of these two guys will be the GLTF that we need. So let's just check. This is the GLB file that I told you. And this is the GLTF. This is the one that we need. And these are the te all the textures that it exported. But all these textures are packed into this file. So it's going to be easy. Then we're going to hubs.mozilla.com slash spoke. I'm going to leave this link in the description. Get started. Usually you will go and create a new project, but as I have been already working in this virtual environment, I'm going to open this one. This model has like these black faces and all these things disordered because I imported this one just to see how the scales worked before I do the UVs. So to upload this, you're going to hit into my assets. Let's find a folder. It's the Ancient Magical Temple 5. Yeah. Here is the GLTF file. You're going to hit open. And it is going to upload. Once it's done uploading, you can drag it, drop it over here, and boom, it is giant. So this scale, I'm gonna copy two scales here at 04. So now here we have it. Now I'm gonna copy also the positions to 803512. Okay, 
Now it's in the same position. Now I can delete the previous version because I don't need it. Okay. So now here I have my scenario as I have textured. Something that you need to be aware is that you see these little guys over here? These are called spawn points. What this does is once you log it into Mozilla Hubs, you are going to be placed into this spot. But I have placed six, so I'm going to avoid that bug. Well, I'm going to try to avoid that bug when somebody logs into the room. I don't want people to appear into the exact same spot. I want people to appear in multiple spots. And they are going to be like sitting over here, over here, or over here. Uh, looking at the conference. This white rectangle, it is called a uh, media frame. You can find it in your elements. Here it is, media frame. This guy is very helpful because into my virtual conference, uh, I'm gonna put my Google Slides, well, not my Google Slides. There, I created them in Google, but I exported it as a PDF and I'm gonna put that PDF of slides right over here. And this is gonna be attached into the wall and it's not going to move anywhere because in previous presentations, like in my graduation, um, we had it just like a plane. And when someone was about to get its diploma, one of my friends, Evan, um, the diploma just flew because somebody grabbed, I think, by accident. So this is not going to happen anymore because of this feature that they have added in Mozilla Hubs. And this small one is because I'm going to be adding my speaker notes and I want to look at them while I am giving the conference right over here. And there we go. This is ready for a test. So now let's publish these two hubs. Okay, so here we go. Now we have created our virtual world. And it is online in Mozilla Hubs. So now let's get, let's test the functionality of the slides that I was talking about. So I made my slides in uh, Google Docs and exported it as a PDF. So I'm going to import one. And I am also going to have here my speaker notes. So for that, I'm going to, for the moment, as I don't have them yet, I'm just going to export the same file here. It takes a couple seconds to import, so we need to wait. And just drag and drop over there. And here it is, anchored to the wall. And this one right over here. So here we have the small one. Oops, I keep hitting the right button. Okay, so here we have the small one. That's how we can test it. And the big one that the audience is gonna be looking at, like standing over here, over here, or over here. Here we're going to have auto-generated captions, so that's why we have all this space in the bottom. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you create some amazing virtual words into Mozilla Hubs. Have fun and be safe. Bye.